In an essay published after his romantically tragic death in 1811, entitled Über die allmähliche Verfertigung der Gedanken beim Reden, on the gradual formation of thoughts through conversation, the German writer Heinrich von Kleist counsels that if we face any problem that we can't solve through meditation, we should talk about it to someone. It doesn't even matter, so Kleist, whom we talk to and whether or not they are an expert on the subject. What is important is simply the process of conversing itself. The idea comes through talking, as this brings to light and into focus the thought that already sits half-formed in our head as a vague notion. This, you could argue, is really not so different to the process of design in architecture and elsewhere. The idea forms through an internal dialogue the architect or designer is having with themselves, through sketches, models and other visual or physical iterations, the design gradually takes on a more and more concrete shape until, at last, it is formulated in exact plans, elevations, detailed scale models and today also in fully-fledged 3D models. In architecture, then, Kleist's gradual formation of thoughts through conversation becomes a gradual formation of design through drawing and modelling whereby the brain and the drawing are in conversation with each other through the medium of the pencil or pen, so to speak. This begs the question, how do digital design tools change the conversation? Can they even genuinely replace pencil, ink and paper? Technically, they could have done so completely some time ago, but it is significant that analogue and specifically manual methods of communication between the brain and the visual representation of an idea are still very much in use a whole generation after the graphics card made drawing on consumer-grade computers widely accessible and affordable. In this module on computer-aided design, CAD, we want to examine this question along with another question that is fundamental to our topic. How does the idea for a project get from the head of the architect to a digitally communicable design? Because when we talk about CAD, it is generally taken as obvious that we are dealing with the implementation of planning ideas by means of digital media with the aim of communicating these ideas to everybody who is involved in it. Colleagues, clients, authorities, specialist planners, stakeholders, and to ultimately realise the project. So here we won't dwell on design theory and the origin of design, but take it as read that the idea exists and now has to be brought to paper. And since digital methods and approaches are the subject of most modules in this MOOC, we also won't fan out into the wider areas of computer-aided design or branch into 3D modelling, but limit ourselves quite narrowly to the computer as a drawing to, in other words, to CAD as the digital application for generating first and foremost plans. And when talking about plans, we should immediately make a distinction between design plan and project plan. A design plan forms part of the design process, which means that not everything has to be precisely defined or determined. There is an assumption that things will evolve, that the design is still in progress and that materials, textures, details may yet change. A project plan, by contrast, is as much an instruction manual as it is an illustration. Things by this stage have been decided, costed and signed off. Contractors are bound by the details indicated on the plan and they really have to use the type of glass the strength of steel, the thickness of wood, as specified and place them in the exact position foreseen, otherwise things will go badly awry. One of the consequences of moving from hand drawings to CAD is that this differentiation between design plan and project plan has to some extent been lost and today these two quite different categories of plan are all but indistinguishable. So here we will also be talking about the different levels of abstraction we deal with in different types of drawings and plans, and more broadly 
about the advantages and disadvantages CAD brings to the design process and about how CAD is distinct from other digital design methods and approaches such as geographic information systems, GIS, or building information modelling, BIM, or indeed 3D modelling in general, all of which it is closely linked to and increasingly interwoven with.